Here we will access our Linux machine, the one we installed earlier through our PuTTY client. Now remember, you could uh, you have access uh, to a Linux machine, you could use the PuTTY client, or you could simply log in directly to the console. It's really up to you. So this is the PuTTY client looks like. We're going to connect to our Linux machine, which is our first Linux machine, uh, through the PuTTY. Let's go to our Linux machine. Here we have our Linux machine and that's a console. We log into the console. And then we open up a terminal and that's how we perform most of our tasks, most of our commands. Now another way to connect is through the PuTTY. Uh, for that, we have to assign an IP address to this Linux machine. So what is the IP address right now? The command to check is if config. So when we scroll up, you see here our network adapter is this ENP00S3, but it doesn't have an IP address. So how do we assign an IP address? Which we will go into our Oracle virtual box, click on setting and go to network, change the NAT to host only adapter. and click OK. Once it is saved, you can simply run if config command again and then you scroll up and you'll see right now it still does not have the Ethernet IP address right here. It should come up somewhere here. So I think probably the adapter is not up so we will have to become root and type in command if cfg sorry if up and the name of the adapter which is ENP 0 s3 once you hit that it says connection successfully activated let's wait for the prompt the prompt came back hit up arrow key and look for if config again and this time you see it has an IP address which is 192.168.56.101. Now we're going to put in that IP address in a pretty terminal. Okay, once again, for my Mac users, you do not need to download and install PuTTY. All you have to do is find your terminal on your Mac and then simply run the command SSH lowercase minus L. Username in my case is IFZOL and the IP addresses, which is 192.168.56.101. And that's the IP address. We just looked it up by running the command IP address or IPA. So use this syntax and you will be able to connect to the to, to Linux machine from your Mac. Now I'm going back to my Windows users and using the PuTTY so we could use PuTTY to connect to Linux. 192.168.56.101 hit enter or you could also save the session saying my uh, Linux um, VM like that. You could save it. So this way next time you don't have to type in the IP address. And then you click here and then click open. Once it opens, it's going to ask you for a warning sign. Um, it, it's going to tell you if you wanted to keep the SSH keys. It's just a way, a secure way to connect to Linux. Just click yes. It's going to say login as. Now I'm going to log in as myself. I have Sol and you probably have your own account. So log in with your own account. Hit enter. Put in the password and there you go. This is exactly 
as if you are logging in through the GUI. Now, the reason we need to know how to log in through the PuTTY is because 98% of the time when you are going to be working in a corporate environment, there is no GUI environment where you're going to come in and log into the GUI. You always going to have the PuTTY session where you're going to put in an IP address of the destination server and then you're going to connect to it. Now, if you type host name, you're going to see your host name right here. So this is exactly as this one right here. So in our lessons down um, after all these, um, after this lesson, we're going to be using interchangeably. Sometimes you're going to be using PuTTY. Sometimes you're going to be logging in as a console. So it really doesn't matter where we're logging in from, but you should know both ways how to log in.